Okay, is Bobby still out front? Yeah, Bobby's still out front. Okay. You're a trainer. Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Oh, so it's a bug catcher. Sweet. Bug catcher Don. Little Don. Level 3 Caterpie. Sweet. This is going to be a little, hopefully a little easier than I anticipated. You're already faster. Why are you string, well, string shotting when you're already faster? Get him, Bobby. One more to the face, and Caterpie is down for the count. 33 experience point. Be a Metapod. Another Caterpie. Yeah, we can handle this. And Bobby ate her berry. She feels good now. She's ready to go. At least these are only Caterpies. Caterpies. Not too much of a threat, and this actually should raise raise Bobby up to level six after this one. You're having lag. Everything looks good on my stream. Like what kind of lag? Too strong. $48 and a level 6 centric. Level 6 Bobby. And I want to heal up Zara before going anywhere to fight. Dark Cave. If a Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. What do we have here? Map found Antidote. Perfect. Found a Pokeball. Oh, you're having personal lag on your... Okay. Okay, I was just wondering, is it like, is my audio lagging or is it something else like that? Okay. Bitterberry, that gets rid of confusion, correct? Are there item descriptions in this? A self-cure for confusion. Yep. Okay, we'll dodge these trainers for now. Oh, this is a new route right here, by the way. Okay, so I gotta remember, that's a new route right there. I can catch Pokemon there. Which I want to heal mine up first. Okay, because this is a new route over here. This is Route 31? Let me double check. I don't want to accidentally cheat. Map. Yeah, Route 31, because I caught... I caught Zara on 30, and I caught Bobby on 29. Okay. And there's Route 46 right there, which I think actually there's a way to get to that. I don't want to go there in case there's other Pokemon in that area that I can capture. What do you have to say, dude? I thought you'd be something else. I found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it to take on Faulkner. He's the leader of Violet City's gym. So first, before we try to capture anything, we're going to battle this dude down here. But we want to put Zara up front so that she can... Oh, she's... Well, she learns Gust and everything. Just make sure we don't lose anybody important along the way. Okay, another bug catcher. This will be great. Hopefully Zara levels up and gets and gets Gust. Because it'll make short work of these bug dudes. And Zara's going to be important when we get to Bugsy. So I do want to keep her alive. Unless I can go into Dark Cave and catch something really good. I'd love to capture a Zubat because Crobat... Crobat is in my top five favorite Pokemon. Up there with like a Kingler and Metagross and Steelix. I mean, I love Steel-type Pokemon, for one, too. So, like, uh, Scizor's up there. But, uh... I just love Crobat. I adore Crobat. And there's so many... There's so many Pokemon I'm hoping to get on the team in here. And I know Dark Cave has... I think it has Dunsparce in it, doesn't it? 
I can't remember, but uh, it'd be really... It'd be unfortunate to get a Dunsparce, although it'd also be kind of cool to be able to get something like that. You know, one of the cool things about Nuzlocke is it forces you to use and level and power up Pokemon you normally wouldn't use. Like, if this was just a normal playthrough, I'd go into Dark Cave and try to capture something. Aww. Try to capture something that would be really good to use against Faulkner. Um, or I would just super level one of my Pokemon to take him out since I have a Chikorita. Or I would have just not chosen Chikorita to begin with. But... Um... The Nuzlocke forces you to use Pokemon you normally wouldn't use all the time. And that's that's one of the coolest things. So... Tackle, and this is done. I'm gonna take a drink. Okay, Caterpie fainted. Also, how's the audio doing? I did a lot of audio tests before setting this up, uh, doing recordings and stuff with OBS to make sure that the audio balance was good. So if uh, I sound too quiet or the game sounds too loud or too quiet, let me know. But I think I got it at a pretty good balance. Personally. Okay, Bobby. Put you up front. Bobby girl. Oh, yep, that's right. Um, Poison. Use the antidote because the poison cure berry is flexible and that I can I can use it or give it, so save the better, more flexible option for later. And what's this little tree? That's just a little wee little bitty tree right there, isn't it? And this is still a new route over here. I still haven't encountered a wild Pokemon in this area, but I want to go to Dark Cave because Dark Cave It's dark. But I can also encounter a Pokemon in here. And I might be able to get this item? Question mark? I don't know my way around Dark Cave. Like I said, I haven't played this game in a long time. Alright, so here's our encounter for Dark Cave. And it's a Geodude! That is... Oh, it's a female Geodude. That is our ticket to beating... To beating Faulkner right there. That is our ticket to beating Faulkner. Need to start thinking up names for a female Geodude. Let's see. Stone. Gem. Ooh, like... I, I mean, because stones, then gems, and that just brings me to my mind, like, Steven Universe. And uh, Is there a female besides one of the gems in Steven Universe? What's the... It's Connie, isn't it? The girl, yeah, her name's Con. Okay, yep, I think we got we got the name for uh, we got the name for this one. Where's my Pokeballs? Where my Pokeballs at? Just capture it. I mean, Zubat wouldn't have been bad either, because like I said, one, I love Crobat, but also at the same time, it means that in future tunnels, when you have more rare and powerful Pokemon. Nothing is soaked up by the Zubat, but I am okay with this. Use its arms to steadily climb steep mountain paths. It swings its fists around if angered. Yeah, I give a nickname to Geodude. Ani. I don't know if that's how it's spelled in the cartoon, but there we have it. All right, now let's get out of here. Okay, let's update my my uh, team tracker. Let's see, party member number four. Sweet. This team is really starting to come together, ain't it? Okay, so... And we can catch one more Pokemon in this area. So the only other Pokemon I think I can catch around here is actually a Rattata. To be honest. Let's see what we can come across. We're going to come across other Pokemon that I normally... Don't think I would see all that. Oh, there's another Zara. A Zara wannabe. You've been replaced. Or not replaced. But you're you're not needed. You're too little too late on this. 
I also want to get Zara up there. I want to get. I want to. I don't want to have weakness in all this. But I'm also looking to capture a Pokemon in this area too, because capturing a Rattata, I don't think I would use Rattata over Sentry. However, um, Rattata catching it now would save me heartache later. Oh, it's a Weedle. I can deal with the Weedle, little female sting bug. I was going to say, catching a Rattata now would save me heartache later. Okay, that wasn't quite half health. So this, as long as it's not a high roll or a crit, perfect. Alright, now I don't know what to name this Weedle. That is not a Pokemon that I actually went through in my head before. Let's see. Weedle, Sting, Poison, Toxic, to Toxic by Britney Spears. Okay, yep, Britney. That's gonna be that's gonna be the name of this Weedle is Brittany. Doesn't mean I'm gonna use it, but uh, we'll give a nickname to it. We'll give her a nickname. She'll be she'll be there. And I'll I'll if I want to grind, I'll use I'll turn off the battle animations to make the grinding easier. So for five. Weedle, nickname, Brittany, female, date info, oh, voice crack, need a drink. Take a bigger drink that time for hydration purposes. Okay. So we caught, we caught Pokemon, we've caught all the Pokemon we can up until this point. And so far, that's not a bad-looking team. But, uh... Connie is the one that needs to level up the most. Actually, I'm gonna keep Clora out front until I get back to the Poke Center. And I'll buy... I'll buy some potions. We'll do some grinding. And then I'll keep that off-screen on YouTube. Well, we're done grinding. Let me go ahead and change the battle animations back on. Because now we have a team of level 9 Pokemon. And I during my grinding, I remembered that Pidgeotto has the unfortunate move of uh, Mud Slap. And I don't know if Pidgey has it. And so we're going to want to probably actually use Bobby to fight Faulkner. And use a mix of moves like X-Defend, or items like X-Defend and moves like Defense Curl on Pidgey. And do a ton of setup and get ready to take down Pidgeotto using that. So I'm going to go to the Pokemart and buy what I can. And I need... I should have... How many potions do I have? I only have like one. I have one potion. I need more than that. Find the Pokemart. Forget where the Pokemart is already. Oh, it's right by the gym. Alright, let's see what you got for sale, dude. Can I even afford the items that I'm thinking of buying? 550. Yeah, we'll just buy one. And then... Two potions, because that's all I can afford. So now I have three potions. And an X Defend. What's up, dude? I saw a wiggly tree up ahead. If you touch it, and it squirms and dances. That, like pseudo wudo was up this way wasn't he okay anyways we're going back we're going back into town and i would count pseudo wudo as an event pokemon absolutely what is this pokemon academy sprout towers up there things right there what's in here see if there's anything i can get from any of these people Pokemon trade grows quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you're, you guys are just all about trades and stuff. You have a Bellsprout? I want to trade it for my Onyx! I could get an Onyx. That'd be really cool. And the cool thing is, because I'm playing this on original hardware, I'm not playing on an emulator, 
I just have to get a friend and I can trade my Pokemon and evolve them. I could get a Steelix if I wanted it. That's the really cool part about all this. So... Let's see how... how short or long-lived this fight ends up being. Okay, so we're gonna go pick on the weak little trainers first. Just scared of the mud slap. Well, these these first trainers aren't gonna be too powerful, and there should only be how many does he have? He has just the two before you fight him, okay. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner! Bird Keeper sent out Spiro. How powerful is your Spiro? Only... Oh, wow, it's level 9. Okay. That's only a little frightening. Okay, it only does 2 damage. Okay, never mind. That's not nearly as frightening. Although, I guess the last time I fought a Spiro with uh, Connie, my, my Connie was a couple levels lower. Uh oh Critical hit. Alright, Spiro down for the count. Brings Connie to level 10. Okay, let's throw Bobby out there, because if any of them are going to level up for this fight, I want it to be Bobby. Because even though Connie's really good, I'm scared. I'm very scared of Mud Slap. And I don't know if the Pidgey knows Mud Slap. So. I'm gonna use Bobby as the as the Pokemon to take down Faulkner. How's your defense? I'll probably start off with an X Defend. And then just Defense Curl. Because X Defend raises defense by two stages? Three stages? And then I can just use the fence curls after that. Put out Pidgey. Okay, so since it's just a regular old Pidgey, but uh, let Zara have a fight. I don't want to get. I don't. Even though it would be really nice to have Rock Throw, it would defeat the point of not over leveling if I sent Connie out there and let Connie get too strong. Because this one level is not going to make a gigantic difference. Use a stab gust attack. Although, tackle is stab as well, and I actually think tackle might be... ...lightly... ...powerful? No, no, it seemed to do about the same amount of damage. Okay. Bird Keeper Rod was defeated. So let's go heal up, now that those two have been taken care of, and we'll come back and take on Faulkner. Oop, focus centers this way. Oh, I love the intensity before a gym battle. At least in a Nuzlocke. Okay, so... Save real quick. Okay. Okay. Out front, I got Bobby. Got my defense curls. I'm all set up. Let's take down this emo gym leader right here. Alright, Falconer, let's do it. 
I'm Falker, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such inserts to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. I'm going to ignore their weaknesses and just pretend they have all that extra strength. Sent out Pidgey. Level 7. Okay, so I will have plenty of ample opportunity here to set up. This only raises at one stage. Was that basically a waste? I thought the X abilities raised them more. Or the X items. Oh well. We'll just sit here and defense curl until we can't defense curl no more. I just wish I had a berry that I could have given him. Still doing like three damage a hit. It's got there it dropped down to two. I think that's the last time it could be used as well. Three damage? Why is it doing so much? Okay, I'm gonna use a potion just to be safe. It figures crit. Well, I'm glad I used the potion there. Jeez. Won't rise anymore. Okay. Now we can start fighting back. Uh, hopefully all this setup isn't for, uh, isn't waste. Oh my gosh, Bobby, quit missing your tackles. And crits ignore all stat changes. Which I think is dumb. I don't think crits should ignore, like, defense curls and stuff. But that's just how it is. I guess it does keep offensive moves from just becoming way too strong, but... I mean, that's just how it is. Alright, so let's see how this Pidgeotto does. With all this extra defense that I have, I do have an... I don't have an X accuracy, do I? I keep just seeing it in the, uh... I keep just seeing it in the shop, and I think that I can... Grab it. Freaking critical hit right off the bat. Okay, that's a lot better. But it's scary to know that a critical hit from that gust will just wipe my uh, Bobby off the map. Okay, it's going to use gust. We'll try Connie. Watch it use mud slap. Watch it know. Maybe I should just start- I don't have any more potions. Defense Curl is a bad idea. And he'll have a potion. Oh, and these mud slaps. The accuracy reduction. Oh, the accuracy reductions! Critical hit, critical hit. My turn for a crit. I'm just, I'm just hanging on for hope on this one. Okay. Accuracy reducers are such BS! Okay, uh... Go get him, Zara. You're immune to the... You're immune to the mud slap. There we go. Gust. I think we got it. We got. Ooh, we didn't lose anybody on the first gym. 
All right. Bobby grew to level 10. So did Zara. All right, sweet. Leader Faulkner was defeated. We didn't lose anybody. We didn't lose anybody on the first gym. That's awesome. Got the Zypher badge. Zephyr badge? Yeah, I put the Y before the PH, didn't I? Z <laughs> Zephyr badge. I don't actually know how to pronounce that. Use Flash and take this too. TM31 is Mud Slap. Instantly learn a new move thing for you. TM can only be used once. That'll never change. Okay, so... Pain Mud Slap. Teach it to somebody who all can learn. Wow, all of these guys can learn. Laura can learn it. Bobby can learn it. Zara and Connie. Just Brittany. Brittany's the only one that doesn't like slinging mud around. Brittany... Brittany is not a mudslinger. Oh, I just realized the Brittany and Toxic thing also works on another level, because bee drills and spears... Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, that's the perfect name for a female Weedle. <laughs> we discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Alright, well that is one... One down. Okay, first we're going to heal up. 